All right, Kryptonites, welcome back to the channel. So this is a follow-up. I finally got my thermal paste in. I was able to put my new, well, my new um, renewed, refurbished Amazon Ryzen 9 3900 on the motherboard and get it working, get it mining Raptorium. So we are good to go with one little issue, and I'll talk about that in a second. So I went in. And this is a uh, Ryzen Master. I went in and I set the CPU clock speed to 3600 and I set the CPU voltage to one volt and that is sweet because it keeps the temperatures in a manageable spot. Uh, before when I would run it, the defaults, I think it was defaulted to 4600 megahertz and 0.05 volt. I can't remember. I should have wrote it down, but I know it was not these, right? Obviously. So when I would run at default, the thing would get hot. You know, I said, okay, let's just tweak this, make it efficient, and get, get mining. So here we are over here mining on O11 data. Uh, Raptorium. So now I got an, four Ryzen 9s, 3900s working for me. And that's enough for now. I don't, I'm going broke. So that's enough. So the issue I had is um, this guy. I had this uh, MSI... 852M, turn some light on here for you. I just uh, MSI A52M, 520M motherboard, and I put the Ryzen 9 on there first because you know I saw it was uh, it was uh, third generation ready, you know AMD Ryzen 3 ready. So I said okay, let's do it, and I get it all installed, and I'm it's pretty cool because I'm running a, an M2 SSD. I think that's awesome because there's now nothing hanging off. There's no SATA drive. So I am, I'm almost, a, I can't get the light in there for you guys, sorry. Right there under that is the uh, M2 SSD and I love it. Uh, that's the way I'm gonna go from now on instead of having the SATA drive and all the cables. This is like a bare bones setup, you know, I just got CPU and a PSU. And this is all, this one's Wi-Fi, so I did not put a Cat5 cable in. I might just do it because I like having things connected. So let's get back to it. Uh, I put the Ryzen 9 3900 on this board, brought up, uh, downloaded and brought up the Ryzen, AMD Ryzen Master uh, Overclock app. It set up on this motherboard, overclock is disabled. I went, what? I didn't know about this stuff. The motherboard has to be able to support it. I went through the BIO settings. I just couldn't figure it out to set it, to turn it on. It just wasn't working. So what I did, I had this, 470 MSI motherboard which was running this Ryzen 5 so I swapped them so I pretty much had to use more thermal paste thank god I got a tube of it and I got pretty good at putting thermal paste on I also got pretty good at pulling thermal paste out of the pins and unbending a pin so pretty sloppy work but that's how you learn right yeah thermal paste on the pins is not good so I got that off and I straightened out the one pin I bent but he's up and running he is up and running. He is green, just like the other one. So I got two reds and a green. I might change it to blue. It was blue earlier, so I don't know why it went back to green. All right, I know there's a way to set that. I got to download an app to set the colors. Uh, we are good to go, so we are mining. We are mining Raptorium. We're mining to a smart node. And uh, I go to my wallet first on Raptorium just so I can track things. And when my Raptorium wallet gets to a certain point, I'll move that over to my... Uh, smart node wallet and then let the smart node add it to a smart node whenever it gets a chance so that is where i'm at that's enough now i got one two three four ryzen nine thirty nine hundreds two ryzen fives working for me is that about right yeah and i got a couple laptops working for me uh there you go guys that's my update i think that's the only gotcha when you're updating these things and you're putting cpus on make sure you have a couple lessons First one is if you're buying renewed parts anywhere, even from Amazon, make sure or be aware that they may not come with everything. This one had all the thermal paste wiped off. Somebody installed it and returned it. Yeah, good for me. But in, in the end, I had to wait an extra week and order thermal paste. So the price came out not really that much different. So I'm always just going to buy new now on these, on these just to make sure. Maybe not. I don't know. It was just an inconvenience, but it's working. I was able to overclock it and I'm happy as everything's up and running. The second lesson is 
make sure you uh, your motherboard can handle the overclock and allow you to overclock the CPU. I'm sure there's something on that motherboard I have to set. I went through it. I set everything I could on the overclock. It just would not let me mess with that CPU. So it's got to be motherboard specific on what you can do. So this X470, X570s as well will let you uh, will let you tweak the clock settings on your CPU. Uh, that is it. That is all I got, guys. I'm up and running. I'm, I'm cooking with oil. And uh, that's it. I got two GPUs coming in. My favorite, 6600 XTs. They should be coming in. Oh, actually, wait. What is today? In a couple days. GPUs just take forever to get here. It's ridiculous. But uh, I might just pop those on these motherboards for now. Since I'm out of, I have one riser yet. Eh, I got to figure out my power situation because I need to put, I don't know, what am I going to do here? Let's think about this. This guy in here is filled up with PCI. I can get a splitter and then add to him, or I can just build another wood rack. You know what? Let's think about this. I might just take another wood rack, build another wood rack, take one of these, take, maybe take this little puppy, Put a splitter on it, one to four, and make that my new rig motherboard. It's a small, it's a small little board. It's a, like I said, it's an MSI A, uh, what is it, A520M. I got from GameStop free because I had gift certificates, so I got that. That's uh, Wi-Fi too. Hmm. Then I could take the rig and move it anywhere in the house. So there's a possibility. Let me think about that. So if I do that. All right, that's an option. That's what I think about. I, this, this is all I do. That's all I think about all day. No, not really. Uh, this one has five on it, a hodgepodge of NVIDIA and AMDs. And I think I'm maxed. I'm pretty much close to the 80% on that power supply, that ATX power plant, that EVGA ATX uh, power supply. I don't want to max out. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm happy with five on there. That's, that's good to go. And uh, if I get get them too crammed in there, they're not really that close together, but I like it the way it is. And I might as well just simply make another $14 wood rack, slap on the motherboard, and I already got the power supply, and I'll be good to go. I'll use that Ryzen 5. I like to keep these expensive guys outside so they don't get too hot in this tent because it gets up to 100 degrees, as you can see right there. If you can see that number, it's 100 degrees in there, and I got the fan on low. Once I crank the fan up, it gets down to about 97, but I need to get more GPUs in there. So that's what I'm gonna do, because I got two GPUs coming. Might as well start building up a new rack slowly. Uh, yeah, I don't wanna spend too much money. All right, that's all I got, guys. Just thinking outside the box here, what I'm gonna do, what the plan is. <laughs> got the network, that's working great. These uh, things are working great. I did order one of those little mini vacuum cleaners. It was free. Again, I had all these gift certificates from GameStop. Don't ask why. So it's a little va vacuum cleaner. You can get in there and clean all the fans off. So all the fans on this guy, this Ryzen 5, the, the blades and on the inside cowling, was just dust. So it's probably good. You gotta, you gotta set a maintenance schedule to clean these puppies. Uh, the best you try, your, your best efforts, you're still gonna get dust in these things. Even your GPUs, you got to set a maintenance schedule on those things. Uh, let's see, what else? I don't need the Wi-Fi anymore. I got that plugged in. There's the Red Devil. Uh, I love the Red Devil. Well, it just lights, whatever. It's the Red Devil. So he's up there running happily. The Th thing is, I got these guys outside the grow tent, and this 37 puts off some heat. So I got two GPUs outside. Mm, I know, I got to start consolidating, putting stuff inside the grow tent to keep the study here from getting a little cookie, a little hot. All right, guys, so we are up and running. We got, now we have 11 rigs for uh, Ryzen 9 3900s and two Ryzen 5s and two laptops, all doing CPU mining. Uh, so I'm pretty well balanced out, I think, from GPU and CPU mining. There's one of the laptops over there. I got it on a little fan platform. It's blowing fans up into, the, into its butt and keeping it happy. All right, that's all I got, guys. Thought I'd give a little update. Ten minutes in. Little lessons learned again. You're always learning something as you do this mining stuff. And again, the overclocking CPUs is pretty new to me. And then that was another lesson learned that, oh, okay, your motherboard has to be able to handle overclocking. 
and uh, I just had to adapt. I'm sure there's something I didn't do right on that mother, but, but I figured swapping it was the quickest solution to get up and running instead of spending hours trying to figure it out. I'll keep looking. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I am out. Talk to you later.